The Young Thug Rico case has taken by most accounts an unusual twist, an alleged drug deal in open court. Prosecutors say they have the video to prove it. Yeah, Fox 5 News has obtained that video. Fox 5's Kevin Stewart joins us from the live desk with details, Kevin. Hey, this is unusual. This involves Young Thug and one of his co-defendants, a young man already serving time for murder. Cleef Adams is now charged with, among other things, possession of a controlled substance and willful obstruction of law enforcement. Watch this. In the back of the Fulton County courtroom, the man in the blue suit, that's Khalif Adams, a.k.a. Bobby Hunt, Young Thug's co-defendant. He's walking up to the counsel's table. You see him lean over toward Young Thug. You might not be able to see it here, but according to a court filing, Adams allegedly passed Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams, a Percocet. That's when law enforcement caught the alleged act. In fact, according to the court filing, quote, the hand-to-hand -hand drug exchange between defendant Adams and defendant Williams led to the the discovery of even more contraband inside the courtroom. Percocet, marijuana, tobacco, and other contraband wrapped up in plastic and food seasonings to mask the odor of marijuana. The host of Fox 5's public affairs show, The Next Atlanta, George Cheedy, has closely followed the case against Young Thug. Cheedy says what is alleged to have happened in the courtroom is almost unheard of. You've covered a lot of trials. I've covered a lot of trials. Have you heard of anything like this before? So it happens, but it's so rare that it's it's like vanishingly rare. Um, in part because you don't have 14 defendants on trial most of the time. The idea that it would happen in this courtroom under these circumstances is an extraordinary breach of security. All right, now, according to the court filing, Adams ended up in Grady after he appeared to have swallowed contraband. Now, we did reach out to both attorneys for both defendants and haven't heard back yet. Coming up at 6, what impact could this development have on the trial? From the Live Desk, Kevin Stewart, Fox 5 News. Kevin, thanks.